Hello there, I just wanted to give you an overview of the uh, basic use of an uh, E-Trex Garmin and this one is called the Venture as you can see here and first thing is when you get one of these devices I would suggest because there's so many, everyone will have one all the students is put your name or some kind of identifying feature on there uh, tag on, on, the, on the end of this, something that says if, you, if it gets mixed up even when the machine's off you know who it is anyways to turn it on you press this button here okay and we're just gonna let it uh, turn on and uh, when as it uh, there you go and what I've done here you can see I've uh, put my name into it and I'll show you how to do that now you notice how the screen is darker what you do is uh, is uh, hit the off button lightly a couple times and that'll brighten up your screen and there you can see it Okay, whoops, and if you hit it too often, you end up shutting, uh, you making it not so bright. So now, what I want to do now is just show you the basics. Here it's looking for satellites, and that's shown in, the, in this lower corner here. Uh, the battery power is the first thing you see, and the second one over is the satellites. And this is showing you right now, you are in the center, and these are the satellites that are within the vicinity. So we have, I have good, strong satellite um, connection here. Now I'm inside a building so it may eventually complain as it's acquiring satellites. But you don't have to wait for this. What you do is press this button here and that'll move you along. And then I'm just going to hit it a couple of times. And these are called uh, menu pages. So this is your main menu which has all the different uh, options on there. This is your map and uh, this is your compass, which I use. Uh, I'll show you how I use a compass in the bush here. Uh, and that's basically what you need. Now, if we go back to the uh, menu page, uh, what we have here is obviously uh, we have the map, and then the, and then the black arrow Im implies where is that's you currently. That's your position. Now, a couple of things is as far as controlling how the look of it is if you look at the top here I have two items they're called uh, pointer and distance to next and these are called uh, data fields okay here it just kicked in and says use of GPS off I'm a, I, since I'm inside I'm going to say yes and to do that I hit the toggle switch here straight down okay and there we go now what to, to control the, the, the headings what you're going to do is learn to press uh, this button here, which is they call the sub menu. That's the one, two, third one down. Okay, and if you do that, you can see here it says data fields, and you, if you click that by pressing this button down straight down, you could say I don't want any data fields, just map only. If I click straight down, now you see only the map. All right, to move around on the map, by the way use the toggle switch up here and that'll move your mouse around uh, on the screen you can see here okay now well and as you move along it indicates the direction and everything at the top so there's lots of information provided alright now what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to bring in a map because it's kind of boring looking at a yellow screen and what I'm going to do is select a waypoint and this is what I suggest. Um, so if you, so I'm going to do is go through my. I'm going to hit my menus again, the top here, and I'm going to find a waypoint. So I'm going to click there and find waypoints. By and again, I'm using the top little button here. Now, once you get to this screen and you want to find a waypoint, and if you have many waypoints, it shows up a little. Uh, uh, alphabetical uh, list and which I want to find city of Quartha Lake so I press C so it jumps to all the waypoints starting with the letter C and I'm going to say OK OK and then I'm going to choose CKL4 and I'm going to now if I say go to by the way that means I will literally draw a line from here to that spot and if I was going to walk there but I just want to see the map I go to map and now 
the map is very tiny so now I want to zoom in. To zoom in on your maps use the top two buttons on the left. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to use the lower one which is called, well it's zooming in and then so I'm going to go and if you look at the lower uh, left corner it gives you the scale. I'm at three kilometers now so I'm going to zoom in a bit more and down to, uh, I'm now at 500 meters respect to that distance that's shown in that uh, scale. Okay, so there is lots of information and uh, if it, and let's say we, uh, I'm going to scroll around the map a bit. Okay, okay, it's now reloading. Okay, so now what I can do, and once I have the map here, I can now add a point that's, and this is an important skill to have, add a UTM coordinate and the way you do that is you find a specific place you want to go so let's say I want to go to right here and where the arrow is and what I do is I lightly press the button down okay and give it a second to didn't do it right, there we go and it says select a point and just say just press the button again and then it says go to let's say if you're in the bush and you wanted to go there to that point you just would say go, uh, go to or if you wanted to save it you could save that point and you could give it a name I'm just using my um, again the mouse I can give it a name whatever I just for the sake of time I'm happy with the name okay so I say okay and but I want to give it a new symbol and if you look over on the left side I can nine six kilometers to get there long hike so anyways just to show you if I um, said go to okay it would say turn GPS on and then then you see there's a big purple line from where I am and goes up 44 kilometers to that spot okay so that's some of the basic uses now if I wanted to have a compass on the same page I would again go back to my sub menu okay once I get it working here I'm not hitting the button right okay Do -do -do. sorry I'm just trying to here we go there we go sorry my unit's a little old uh, and then I would go data fields and I would choose two data fields okay now they're blank or they have information in them how do I get those words in there pointer is your compass so what I do is I hit this third button again and change data fields and that means choose what you want to see and now it's highlighted in yellow so it says pointer and I want pointer which means the compass the compass is in that one and the best one to choose for the next one over is distance to next in other words how far do I have to walk and how do I choose that there's many choices you could have who knows what glide ratio is that sounds like if you're an airplane but I could have odometer whatever I want right so I've already uh, have walked oh no I doubt it 512 kilometers okay so it gives you an idea of some of the, the neat uses there and if you um, okay and once you're done with that just hit the button over here and you're good to go okay and when you're uh, in the in the main menu here very quickly uh, you're gonna have to explore this on your own I always suggest a couple things it, uh, when you start walking in the forest make sure that you have I have to go back to this that you clear the tracks the tracks are like a breadcrumb trail wherever you walk so you want it to always start where you start walking not from Lindsay and then because it'll remember the last position you were so you always want to clear tracks okay and you want to make sure that the track log is on okay and and the reason it's off right now because I have my GPS off okay but make sure the track log is on and you clear the track here you see I have many tracks and you're allowed to have up to 22. I've already got 19 used, so I better start deleting some. Okay? 
And so that's tracks. And once you're done there, again, you hit the P, uh, this button here. And there's all kinds of options. One of the options I strongly recommend under setup, or is it under here? No, it's under setup, I believe, is putting your name in. Okay, and that's under one more. There we go, setup. And right down here, where it says welcome message, click that, play with that, put your name and phone number in there, so if someone ever finds your GPS, they know who it belongs to. All right, have some fun with these GPSs. There's lots of options, and you'll learn more along the way. Thank you.